uh, what was your each of you what was your strong and weak suits and what, what how did you plan for them so i mean again i'll start off uh, so for me my uh, strongest suit was uh, vr6 so uh, this is evident from the very beginning itself the mock scores were reflecting it and i didn't really put in a lot of effort all i did was uh, i used to read articles every day i used to follow newspapers it kind of helps you for the cat and post cat also even for your interviews so something that you definitely have to do uh, my weakest section was the dialer so i've had mocks that have actually gotten zero in dialer so i had no clue what i was doing uh, i was sitting and i was like i mean i don't even know why i'm here so i have I had those situations but uh, i've had mocks that have really got me i've gotten really good scores also and turns out uh, in the cat dialer was it my uh, lowest score quants happened to my lowest score which is a surprise but uh, the, the, the way i improved my dialer scores was uh, solving more puzzles essentially so i solved the uh, like i mentioned before the cat actual papers they really helped me uh, they had uh, so many solutions out there you one thing that i did was after i had my own solution that i listed out i used to look for other solutions that were either more uh, efficient or quicker so that was something that i was consciously out on the lookout for and that definitely helped me in uh, you know giving me different ways of approaching the same problem so that definitely helps for dialer so yeah i think uh, that's my answer over to you sasi okay i think the answer is pretty much same like my strong suit was also vrc and much like bharat i also had scored a lot of single digit marks in the alr so but one thing was sure because i had given cat 2018 as well i knew that you know like cat dialers are doable and if you pick proper sets it's going to fall in place so i was not worried about dialr per se but i my mock scores in dialr were terrible because i found the questions from mock very tough but when i solved past year papers it was actually doable so i felt that you know like in exam maybe i will do it because since it's a you know artificial pressure for the mock i might screw up some now and then uh quant was one section where i had to make an improvement because 2018 i had scored very low as in my if i have to give out a number it was in the late 60s as in somewhere around 68 69 percentile in quant in 2018 but i made sure to fix my strategy and also learn a few topics which i was not comfortable with and by the end of exam i had made a good leap i scored 94 in quant so i feel that it's an achievement you know coming from 68 and going on till 94 so i tried to balance out whatever i knew and made sure that i uh, equally distributed marks to all section but yeah if you want to say my strongest section was Uh, VRC and my weakest section would be quant. Yeah. Wonderful. Over to you, Arvind. So yeah. So I would like to actually think that uh, I was equally good in all the three sections, even though the marks might suggest otherwise. So yeah. So apart from that, jokes apart. So I think uh, my strong section was uh, quant, and uh, I would again argue that all the sections I was equally good at. It's just that uh, depending on my character and personality. there was scope for inconsistency as in not a consistent range of scores in both english and dial that was possible for me that i knew from a uh, very long back so what i did was uh, in english depending upon the paper i used to just tweak t- t- uh, my approach if i found that the paper was very good i would go for all in so i would probably go for upwards of 32 questions attempt if the question was tougher i would take my time to answer the questions go step by step not really worry about how much time i'm taking just think about uh, uh, selecting a particular rc passage and then uh, striking out and then move on so that was my approach for vrc and in dilr again it depended on that particular day because uh, uh, how much ever i could practice i could i was i am decently good with numbers and i can do da da pretty well even in lr i thought i could do and solve puzzles very well but it depended on that particular exam day Uh, for whatever reason i i could falter during the exam day or as in not give my best in dial so uh, my approach was that if i could minimize that and uh, do at least something close to my best possible level in dial i was good to go and in quant again even though uh, i knew that it was my strongest section i did not want to put too much pressure on it because uh, i know that if you put too much pressure on any particular section saying this is my strongest section i have to score this particular percentile or this much uh, particular uh, mark in that particular section it's kind of a recipe for uh, disaster sometimes so i just th- thought about maximizing my attempts and quants without doing any foolhardy stuff that's what 
that's all wonderful 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 i think couple of points which i thought was very meaningful was don't take additional risk just because it's your strong section so the crucial thing we we tend to set a very high bar for what are crucial sections and one big big take away i think all three of them kind of alluded to it it and has underpinned their belief uh, that the mocks are sometimes crazy actual cat is never funnily crazy and so actual cat is usually one easier than most mocks two better you don't get the two cranky vrc passages the three impossible dlr sets that can kill your score and make you tired and annoyed and irritated cat rc passages are lovely to read lovely to read which so i think bharat mentioned one thing that he always he said he always used to go back to the actual cat paper for for dlr look at the solution from a different point of view because if you look at the actual cat papers you know you have six papers to look into them you'll get a sense that hey this is doable i can i can attempt each of these sets none of this is rocket science none of this is funnily crankily difficult and so and, and that idea you need to have that underpins belief so keep that in mind uh, that actual cat is going to be significantly easier than mock so keep that in mind don't don't uh, and that, that that idea is is got to underpin your belief that's one thing that all three of them have said in different forms the actual exam is more interesting more fun more engaging uh, less volatile less cranky less annoying fewer annoying questions and generally easier more relaxed and so keep that in mind